guys welcome back to my channel so one thing you may not know about me because I'm sure many of you follow this channel because of the health and fitness advice and tips and whatever so you may not know that I actually kind of love sweets and it's more of a mental thing than actual like taste sensation thing I kind of have this mentality that I need to have a little bit of something every night um, as opposed to just having a treat once or twice a week so I have made a personal challenge to myself to start kind of taking some of my favorite foods or um, anything I have laying around and create a little bit of a healthier option for that type of meal. So for instance, I currently have a bunch of ripe bananas and I thought, what can I do? Make banana bread. And I started looking up recipes and so many recipes contained so much sugar and butter and oil and it just wasn't great. So I came across a recipe that I will actually link down in the description box below. It will take you to the site of um, the woman or the individual who posted it. But I thought that I could on camera try to make it. I have never had this recipe, I've never used it, I've never made it myself, so it'll be a learning experience and I hope you guys will come along with me. So let's get to baking some healthy-ish banana muffins. For this recipe, you will need one half cup whole wheat flour, three fourth cup all-purpose flour, three fourth teaspoon baking soda, one and one half teaspoons cinnamon, one half teaspoon nutmeg, one fourth teaspoon salt, two very ripe bananas mashed, about one and one fourth cups, one half cup real maple syrup, two tablespoons light olive oil, two large egg whites, and one and one half teaspoons vanilla. Okay, so as you can see, I have all of the ingredients laying out here before us. And the recipe is actually pretty simple. I have a large mixing bowl here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is walk over to my oven and turn it to 350 degrees. The next thing we're gonna do is take some nonstick cooking spray and spray gently a pan of cupcake. What, what would you call it? Like a cupcake pan or a muffin pan. <laughs> pan, pan, pan. The next step is to take all of the dry ingredients that you have here and pour them into your mixing bowl. So once you get done combining the dry ingredients and getting off the phone with your husband who is interrupting your video, then you are going to go in with a separate bowl and combine the wet ingredients. Once you've completed that, you will have the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients in front of you, and you're going to want to stir those thoroughly to blend all the ingredients together nicely. Once you have mixed all of your ingredients, what you're going to do is kind of create, I guess, a little, I've never heard this, but it says a well, so I'm assuming that means kind of like a space in the middle of the dry ingredients, and there you have that. And then you are going to take the wet ingredients and pour them in there. But now the wet ingredients are in, and it says to just like mix just to where it's just mixed like don't over mix it but I guess to kind of combine the ingredients the final step before cooking is just to take your mixture and spoon it into your muffin pan Now that the muffins are prepared in the pan, we are gonna stick them in the oven for 10 minutes and then allow them to cool for three to five minutes. Once they are done, I will do a taste test and let you guys know what I think. Okay, 
It has been five minutes since I have pulled the muffins out of the oven, and now it is time for a taste test. So let's give it a try. I can definitely tell right off the bat that they are moist. Mmm. These are incredible. They are exactly what you look for when you make banana muffins. They are moist. They are sweet. They're only 48 calories and one gram of fat. So they are definitely more on the healthy side. And I think they are just as good as any banana bread that has sugar or butter or oil or anything else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Please leave a comment down below if you try out this recipe. And I would love to hear some of your kind of foolproof, healthier versions of your favorite sweet treats down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.